Hi everybody. I was not going to come here as you can see Nico home. Uh, it's hot. Uh, but major things are happening uh, in the spiritual realm so I have felt that I must come. Excuse the audio kama audio iko poa to it's windy and all that. I wanted to just come here and say that the man of God uh, Andrew True Light has uh, declared a, a change of God in the top office of Kenya. Now, uh, this is a man of God that I have been listening to uh, uh, since even 2022 and, and before that. And I have seen many prophetic declarations that he has announced have come to pass. And if you check his uh, website, the, the, the church website, you will find those those declarations and confirmations over there. I'm leaving a link uh, in the description box of this short video. Now, uh, every the, the Bible tells us that we must test every uh, prophecy that comes to us. So this is a this is a major one. Yeah, and it's not to say that I don't believe him. I've already told you guys that I listened to him and I have a testimony. Uh, of 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 his ministry as a prophet so uh, this is not uh, to test him in any way but what he has pronounced uh, in in uh, in declaring a change of god in the top office for kenya is is not a small thing and and we as believers we need to be sure that indeed this is what god uh, is planning uh, himself myself and many other servants of god uh, the prophet and lovu for example uh, had declared at during the run-up to our last election uh, for president william ruto now uh, many times and you can see it in scripture uh, god would appoint somebody and then somebody would go off to do uh, you know that person that king would go off uh, and and sometimes they would forget the case in hand king saul the first king of israel yeah they would forget who who appointed them and for what purpose now uh, so the fact that uh, for example let me talk about myself that we declared for president ruto in the last election it doesn't mean that uh, we will stick for him with him uh, unto, unto the death no actually uh, let it be said as as the as the angel announced to joshua remember before they went around the uh, jericho joshua an, an angel appeared and joshua asked are you for us or are you for the enemy and the jewish and the angel said i am for neither i am for the lord and that is the position that we believers should take we are for the lord yeah so it's uh, neither is it about ruto nor is it about Kalonzo, nor is it about any other that may be declared we are for the lord and being for the Lord, we must therefore then uh, test every prophetic pronouncement to see that indeed it is of God. Now I have already said, and I won't uh, get tired of saying, that a uh, prophet too late is a, is a prophet, a man of God that I believe in and I listen to, I have subscribed, I listen to him regularly. So nonetheless, we shall follow the word of God, the scripture as it is laid out. So uh, as I was sitting out here in, in the shade and listening to worship and, and, and uh, you know, just being in the presence of God, uh, an idea uh, fell into my spirit the way that normally God speaks to me. And the idea was that, you see, now we are having a, a visitation in the next few, maybe two weeks or so, of uh, Pastor Benny Hinn. Yeah? And I said, uh, Lord, if indeed what Prophet Too Light has said is your voice, is, is your position, then put those words in the man of God, Pastor Benny Hinn. Put the words in his mouth. Yeah. And, and just look at it. Who better? Who better? I, I, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not uh, minimizing any of the servants of God in Kenya or any other place. Yeah, but there's great chance that uh, if some other man of God here stands up and says that it may be misconstrued to, by by naysayers that he is yasa. Yeah, so to avoid that, yeah, the person who himself has been invited, yeah, by those who are in power, Lord, put put your words, put a confirmation as a as a proof. Remember Gideon. 
Gideon, when the angel appeared, he said, okay, the things you're telling me, ni mambo kubwa. Kama hitu meambiwa Kenya, ni mambo kubwa. Yeah, so do this. Yeah, and Gideon told the angel, oh, yeah, if it is of God, cause them uh, not to be due in the morning. I akawana amini, he told him, and the following day, no, cause they are now to be due only in, in a certain area, and in the other places, let there be no due. So then Gideon believed. For us, while we it is confirming in our spirit, let us be careful. Let us just follow script. It is confirming, yes, but I don't want I don't want it to be maybe because of some hidden uh, thought or an inclination towards uh, candidate X uh, against candidate Y. Yeah, it's to avoid that, I, let us test this prophecy. And, and therefore, the, the best way to test it, yeah, I, I, I believe in what the prophet Tulaita said, but the best way to test it is to ask God to put it in the mouth of his servant. Somebody we know has a track record with God, Benny In. Put it in his mouth, let it declare. Remember in the Bible when, when uh, they, they hired Balaam, yeah, and, and Balaam was not a servant of God, but I think it's, it's a relevant uh, uh, analogy now. They hired Balaam to come and curse Israel. <laughs> yeah, the guy stood, yeah, uh, uh, he stood there, uh, and what happened? He said, I, Nimejaribu, it's not possible. They moved him to another place. Yeah, he said, eventually, you cannot curse that which God has blessed. So, indeed, if God has blessed another candidate, yeah, okay, uh, uh, Prophet True Light said, uh, in his pronouncement, and I am putting a small link here. Uh, and uh, you, you know for you to just uh, as an enticement but the, the the full video link is in my description go there hallelujah praise the lord jesus this is the issue concerning the nation now allow me to speak to you allow me to speak i want to i want us to say uh i'm not speaking from a judgment seat and whatever we say is not from a judgment seat we have no right to judge anyone but we speak as the spirit says yeah let 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 the servant of god benin when he steps in this land, let him declare that ndio mumeniita lakini the glory may move iko pale ingine. Yeah. Let him point where. Yeah. Ndio tujue as a confirmation. I know this this uh, video is not for many people by the way. This is for the ones who will pray seriously. If if you have that burden to to cooperate with God, yeah. It's not just about him doing things for you. If you have that burden to cooperate with God's purposes and I've been talking about them throughout my channel visit it please kindly kindly yeah take time we, we, we Benin is I think 24th 25th there before that take time pray intercede if you need to fast as the Lord will lead you and ask God one simple prayer come and wewe umesema itajike kwa mdomo ya uyu yosava me I'm already doing that and I've already told many of my family and others who are close uh, that we do that so please put it in mind let's get praying let god confirm this one and then we will align ourselves we do not want to just take our country simply simply it's a serious thing yeah we don't want to put somebody there and then at atena to rudisha nyuma kama soul vile imekuwa sasa until next time this was meant to be a short video god bless you pass this video pass it on watch out to wengi serious people tuombeni in jesus name shalom